As a kid, I yearned to die before I hit 30. The idea of getting old seemed revolting. Of course, I had little comprehension of mortality back then, and as I aged, I pushed back my self-imposed expiration date. When my teenage years proved disappointing, I looked forward to my 20s, legal drinking, living on my own, and freedom. But I drifted through the dot-com decade in a blur. In some ways, I wasted those years by letting opportunities pass. I hit my stride in my early 30s. At the time, I thought I was living in peak happiness. And it was, until my 40s. I may not be as athletically fit as I was in my 20s and early 30s. But now, I wield a weapon that I lacked back then. I could have gotten in my 30s or even my 20s if I weren't so stubborn. Today, I benefit from wisdom. It took decades and a few kicks in the ass to acquire it, so don't follow my lead. Learn from my mistakes. Start on the path to a remarkable life when you're young. In today's challenging times, you may feel like, why bother? But as Viktor Frankl wrote, in times of crisis, people reach for meaning. And as I've discovered, when you find meaning, you open yourself up to change. 1. Restructure your identity There are two things under our limited control, our self-talk and our behaviors. I've tried changing my self-talk. It requires constant focus. Perhaps if you're able to meditate 18 hours a day, it's possible. But for anyone living a life, it's impractical. It's easier to change your behaviors. And when you do so consistently, I've found, your self-talk will follow. You've heard this advice before, but you need to hear it again Pick a passion or activity that excites you, something you'd want to do every day for the rest of your life. Make it a point to carve out at least one hour per day. When you dedicate time to a passion every day, it becomes part of your identity. Construct your ideal person, values and beliefs, who are the people you admire? List the specific behaviors and values that make them so worthy of your esteem. Can't think of anyone? Ask yourself these questions, how do you wish to conduct yourself? What values are most important to you? Do you want people to see you as someone generous, assertive, forgiving, adventurous? There are no wrong answers, assuming you pick positive attributes. Consolidate all those behaviors into a vision of the person you'd like to become. And then, act that way. 2. Cultivate great friendships As a teenager, I had countless friends. Now, on the dark side of my 40s, I've held on to two childhood buddies. We don't hang out much due to distance. But I know that no matter what, they'll be there if I need them, even if months pass without contact. Those are the friends worth keeping. Aristotle called these the perfect friendships or friendship of the good. It refers to those friendships where two people are good and alike in virtue. If you can hold on to a few of those in your 40s, then consider yourself blessed. If not, don't fret. Friendships don't have to last forever. Don't feel obligated to hold on to friends that hold you back or who have diverted from your interests. Meet new people, those more aligned with your destination in life. Find friends, both older and younger. The older ones provide wisdom, while younger ones remind you to dream of what's possible. 3. Don't seek approval Back in the 90s, I went to graduate school for a pointless degree. I viewed it as a permission slip to work in a career I desired, my proof of my legitimacy, a weapon to swing against anyone who called me a fraud. I quit that MBA program because it felt unnecessary. But not having that piece made me feel undeserving of professional advancement. So, I never went after what I desired, even if I felt deserving. Instead, I waited and hoped someone would choose me or grant me permission. That need for approval finally started to crack in my early 40s. Damn, why did I wait so long? How many fledgling writers, entrepreneurs, and artists ride the pine waiting for someone to choose them? Don't wait for someone to hand you an invitation. Don't panic if they disapprove. Declare you're going to do it and push forward. It will fill you with confidence and pride. 4. Be generous with your time and wisdom There are different kinds of generosity, but giving your time and wisdom provides the most inner joy. It's lovely if you can write a big check, but you will never get back your time. Sharing your hard-earned wisdom with those who are open to receiving it can change the lives of others. Often, you'll find that when you give your time and wisdom, it's to people who cannot and likely will not be in a position to return the favor for years, or perhaps ever. 
Don't view it as a transaction. Don't keep score. That's not an act of generosity. 5. Step on your ego losing the naivety of my 20s knocked the shit out of my sense of self-importance. Back then, I had all the answers. By the time I hit 40, any residue of preeminence had vanished. If you expose yourself to new information, new people, new perspectives, and new experiences, you'll realize you were wrong about things you were once sure about. You'll discover that some of your deeply held beliefs originated from your childhood and teenage years. You'll understand that those beliefs were never vetted or verified. You'll poke around and find contradictions. At some point, you'll experience that epiphany. What if everything I've been taught is bullshit? At that point, you have two choices. You can ignore the dissonance and continue your life as though you were still a know-it-all. Or choose the second path. Question your worldviews. Examine them. And, if necessary, dispose of them in favor of more enlightened beliefs. It's painful, time-consuming, and ego-bruising, but it's also a path to wisdom. 6. Embrace change, even when it hurts to do so have you ever noticed that the older people get, the more they want things to remain the same? This attitude ages you. No, maybe not in physical years, but the stress of fighting change will wear you down. And you'll never succeed. Embracing change in your 40s keeps you vibrant, relevant, and engaged with the world. Much of the change that occurs in your middle-aged years works against you, at least it will seem that way. But that's life. You can either drown fighting the tide or cruise the wave to the shore.